Hey guys, back with another Maple Star in video here. This time back on the Pally, um, going for the triple zero challenge again. Um, this is my second attempt. A couple weeks later, uh, after the first one, which I got just under six minutes, maybe over, but this time um, I'm trying it again. Wanted to see what I could do with a little bit of a better run, maybe a little bit better threat in RNG, and made a little upgrades to nodes leveled them up a little bit, so I wanted to test it out where I'm at. So right off the bat, normal rotation, um, throw ends up this whole time, so damage is coming through, not bad, 30 seconds in, doing pretty good damage, and you'll see that, um, you know, not much different, buffed versus unbuffed, I mean, uh, it looks like it's getting chunked down, still pretty good, threaten obviously plays a big part, getting a lot of those crits in, and Pally is pretty strong without buffs. They have high skill percent. So it's not um, surprising that the damage is still going through pretty good. One minute right there. About 50% in. So probably around just under 30k, uh, 30 bill DPM that first minute. Which is really, 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 really good for uh, no buffs. And so now it's kind of just about keeping that uptime, keeping that damage. Um and the good thing about Pally, obviously, very very good mobility, survivability on their own. Um, and Divine Echo was about to go down right here. Just maxed it uh, yesterday. So I just wanted to see what the damage is at like with Hard Magnus. Um, doing some more DPS checks, uh, Covert, other things in the next few days. So excited to kind of test the limits with a little bit more upgrades. And so stay tuned for those videos. But... Here the threat is still going solid. Hammer's back up again. So the DPS is going good. So that's why I'm going to stun it right here while I have my hammers up, while I have Sankara up, just to maximize uptime, maximize the burst. Uh, two minutes in, pretty solid, doing good. Um, the run is really smooth as well. Not really taking any damage or taking any hits. Obviously, when uh got Sankara up for a minute out of the two minutes, does, that doesn't really hurt either. But still... Dodge that dash right there, trying to get back inside the force field as quickly as possible. And about two and a half minutes in, looking like uh, under three minutes is possible, but I don't think um, I would be able to get it. Not worth the risk. Uh, the time's already a lot better than my first run, so really just about finishing it up here, making sure I don't take any damage since this is uh, a, one, a no death um, run. So... Here I am, dodging that dash. It looks like um, just trying to survive, really. Orbs are picking up right here, tr trying to survive till my next sank rolls up, which should be up pretty soon. And um, Echo Weapon Aura is coming right back up right there. And uh, he's pretty much just going to get finished off right here. I think my yep, yep, sank rolls up right there. Going to pop it, and he's going to go down. So smooth run, much better than my first one. Um, I want to try again later, maybe with the BR, just to see what I could test the limits. I also want to try no thren run on the pally, so stay tuned for that. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.